Greetings, Bobby W6IWN here. Today I'm bringing you the new Radio Oddity GD168 DMR radio. Thank you, Radio Oddity, for sending me this for review. Let's get right to it. Okay, the Radio Oddity GD168 has five watts output power. It is digital and analog. Satellite communication, what they mean by that, there is a satellite prediction function in here that will show you the satellite, the ham radio satellites you can talk to. I'll get into that more later. Transmit and receive noise reduction. 500K, that's right, 500,000 contacts and up to 10,000 talk groups. It is type C charging and programming. The type C is in the radio, you can see here. I've tested it out. You can program it with the CPS. It also does charge with the USB-C. It is DMR tier one and two compatible. Quad power selectable, so that way if you're using it with a hotspot, it will drop all the way down to 0.5 watts. So it is 1 watt and then 0.5. It's showing you VHF and UHF here. 2.5 or 5 or 4.5, depending on the band you are on. There is two customizable keys on the side. In each one of these, if you go to the CPS, they have three functions. You can do a short press, a longer press, and a long, long press or a double tap, however you set it up. So that way you, you have six customizable uh, keys there. You can set it up with hot keys, all kinds of stuff. You gotta check out the CPS. Uh, transmit and noise reduction, we already talked about that. It comes with two batteries. I'll show you everything in the box here in a minute, but it comes with a 2600 milliamp battery. That is currently the battery I have on the radio right now. It also comes with an 1800 milliamp battery. Uh, the, it comes with a docking charger. You'll also see that later. That is a USB-C, up to 4,000 channels. It has APRS function, digital and analog APRS transmit, and then digital APRS receive. Roaming function, talker alias function, dual mode record, AE256 and ARC4 encryption. It also has your FM band radio. The frequency range is from 136 to 174, from 480, or excuse me, from 400 to 480 megahertz. The model I have, I did test it, and it will uh, transmit on the GMRS frequencies. That's the model I have sent. I can't uh, vouch for all models. This might be a, a test model. Let's check out one of my favorite features, the satellite prediction feature. So to access it, just go up to menu, and then select satellite. Go down to satellite and then click select. There is some setup to this and I will show you after how to do that. It's gonna say predicting. And what it's doing, it's predicting all the paths of the radio satellites you can communicate with your ham radio. So first it's showing the AO27, if you select select, it's gonna show you how long it is until it is, it's uh, 25 minutes, 26 seconds, and it's gonna show you the pass and the maximum. So that's not a good pass, it's only six degrees. So it, you can use these buttons to go up and down. Once you get to the pass, you'll see, it notice it says one through six. If you can use these side buttons to list all the paths. So you know, it'll show you the elevation, the time, the duration, So then if you go back, which is the coolest part, it's gonna already adjust the frequency, the shift, and everything for you. There is some setting up, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. So it's gonna only list the radio satellites. It does have the ISS in here, the International Space Station, which I think is super cool. I was trying it the other night with the rubber ducky, uh, I was hearing guys, but I wasn't making it back, but it wasn't a very high elevation pass. I wanna hook this up to my Aero Yagi one of these days and uh, try working some satellites in the ISS. But yeah, everything's programmed. So right now, if I try to key up, you notice I'm gonna get this tone. It's not working. Don't panic. See how there is a timer when you go here? It's three hours, 42 minutes, 39 seconds. You cannot transmit 
until that count time timer goes down. Once that timer is down and it knows the satellite is passing, you will be able to use the transmit key. I have tested it. So if you look in the location under satellite, these are gonna be your fixed beacons with your location. The correct information has to be inputted into your APRS for this to work. And you'll know it's correct once it shows your grid square. Okay, let's check out the menu. Uh, it's a lot like the Anytone 878 and the 168. I believe it is the same radio. First, you have your talk group, your SMS, your call log, your zones, your scan, your roaming, your settings, record, which I think will be very useful if you use that when uh, tracking the satellites, working satellites, you can record your QSOs. The satellite function, digital monitor, APRS. Yes, it does have APRS. It will receive analog and digital. I believe it will only transmit on digital. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need to do is program a channel for the APRS. I'm in the United States and for analog in the USA, it's 144.39. I programmed two channels. Here is the normal one where you can hear the sound. And then there's another one with mute so you do not hear the APRS sound which uh, we should be hearing some soon. So what you're gonna wanna do once you're already on that channel, make sure you go to menu, go up to APRS, see it's receiving right now. Select type, and then for analog, select A. All right, now I'm gonna be transmitting the APRS. So there's some setup you need to do before this will all work in the CPS. And I'll show you up here how all that works. If you wanna go ahead and freeze this screen when I show my settings and uh, program yours the same, that's what works for me. I hope that helps you get your APRS uh, going. So it's gonna, oh, right there. See, it's transmitting. That's how quick it transmits. So what I'm sending out is my location. In this case, I'm using a fixed beacon location, and also I'm sending out a short message. Let's hop over to the computer and uh, see what that looks like. Okay, now we're back at the computer. I'm over here at APRS.FI, and this shows the locations of any APRS stations within my area. So, and if I go ahead and zoom in, you're gonna see me at a fixed location. This is not my home location and it shows me in a car, you can use different symbols to show your icon. I have it set to a car right now for mobile use. Okay, if I go ahead and click on my icon here, and then I go to info, right here it's gonna show the location that I'm using with my fixed beacon, and then also in the comment here, you could put a short comment. For this test, I put W6IWN Radio YouTube. And then it's gonna list a bunch of more information down here. Check out uh, APRS. W6IWN, testing analog receive, radio oddity DD168. Testing 123W6IWN. Whiskey 2, Sierra, Whiskey X-Ray. Whiskey 2, Sierra, Whiskey X-Ray. November 2, Papa India Tango. November 2, Papa Tango. Bravo, number 4, Mike Echo Delta. Kilo Golf 6, Oscar Yankee India. Kilo Golf 6, Oscar Yankee India. What's in the box? Let's check out what comes with this radio from Radio Oddity. First off, and I'm not just saying this, it comes with a great manual that is in English. Everything is super clear, step by step. Uh, it's, it's really helped me out. There is a ton of information all in English. This is a legit manual. I like this manual a lot better than many others. So of course you're gonna get the radio. It comes with the belt clip I already did install on this radio. Holy moly, jack in a box. All right. We have the longer 
an antenna with more gain. Comes with one 2600 milliamp battery. It also comes with one 1800 milliamp battery. That's correct, two batteries. It also comes with another antenna, a shorter antenna with less gain. This would probably be a more ideal if you were working a hot spot. Just a little stubby rubber ducky. Uh, the radio is USB-C in the radio. USB-C charging and programming in the radio. Comes with a USB-C cable. Comes with the power bank for your USB-A to plug into USB-C. It also comes with a charging dock that is USB-C. That's what's in the box. Right now on RadioOddity.com, the Radio Oddity GD168 DMR radio is on sale as an early bird offer bundle for $199. You get the radio, you get a cup mount holder, and then an ebook that uh, talks about the guide to how to set it up on DMR. Uh, I do have a coupon code, which I will link below. Uh, it says right here, note discount code not allowed on sales bundle. So at the time of the video, this is on sale. My coupon code will not work. But if you do uh, click on the link below when it's not on sale, I can get you $15 off the radio.